Today's the day I am going to learn how to look after injured and orphaned wombats this morning at a local animal shelter. They take in local wildlife of all sorts when they are hit by cars or orphaned or when something happens that they need a little bit of help to get back on their way and sometimes a lot of help. And today I am going to start my volunteering process there where I will be going regularly to help out with the wombats. I don't really know what it involves. I assume I'm going to be cleaning cages and giving wombat smooches, but hopefully I will be able to take you guys along for the journey and introduce you to some really cute wombats. So yeah, I'm really excited about this and I'm hoping that this is going to be something that I enjoy doing for many years to come and that I can really get some skills in wildlife care so that whenever I am wherever, if there is an animal in need, I know how to help it. burgers and the other one's fries.
at my shoes and they're brand new, matey. They're brand new. Wombat wiggly butt. I'm back and I am not taking my hat off because I probably have the most ferocious case of hat hair known to mankind. But I had an awesome time. I was mostly clearing out uh, pens and uh, areas in which animals are kept in and we were looking after predominantly emus and wombats. We cleared out some areas for little emus, bigger emus, medium sized emus and then fed them and watered them and there was quite a bit of cleaning to do because it's been raining forever but thankfully it stopped raining today although it's about to start again um, and then we went to the wombat enclosures and started feeding and cleaning up all the poop there and um, I was told I wouldn't be feeding a wombat for at least one to two months and I fed a wombat straight away so it was really cool so I was holding a little wombat in its pouch and nursing it with a bottle and my little wombat was called cheeseburgers and the other lady fed fries and oh my god they're just the cutest to the point where it doesn't matter that you're mostly cleaning up shit for hours on end and it's quite a lot of work and in the end, it's now, I think, 2.30 p.m. And I think if I was there by myself, like I'm supposed to be normally for my shift, he'd probably be there for till 3.30, 4 o'clock. And I haven't eaten anything yet, so I'm starving and stinky and covered in emu shit and wombat shit. And it is time to have a shower and eat, but a very rewarding volunteer shift. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps it grow and I would really, really appreciate it. Also, you can check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Pip Coombs and hopefully I will see you in the next video.